Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mint chocolate chip loaf cake, let's begin. To get started on the recipe you'll want to grab yourself a mixing bowl and into your mixing bowl place your room temperature butter along with the sugar and beat together until it's lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. This took between 5 and 7 minutes for me but it may take more or less time depending on how warm your kitchen is. You can then go ahead and add in your eggs one at a time beating well in between each addition and repeat the process until you have no eggs left. You can then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down and this is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on so make sure you get the very top and the very bottom of the bowl and this is where it normally sticks for me and it doesn't fully incorporate so just scrape those bits in once you've done that you can then go ahead and add in all of your dry ingredients and not forgetting to add in the chocolate chips and your mint extract feel free to leave that out if you don't like a strong mint flavor mix it on a low speed to start with working you out to a medium high speed until you have a clear butter a few dry ingredients around the top is not a problem as we'll give the bowl another scraping down and again this is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and grab yourself a loaf pan which you've been lined with some parchment paper and transfer all of your cake batter in there smoothing and spreading out to level it out as best as you possibly can. This will just help with the bake. Go ahead and place it into your oven and bake it off. All that information will be in the blog post which will be linked down below. To get started on the buttercream, grab yourself a medium sized saucepan and place in your sugar and water, whisk the two together until they are fully combined, then place this on the hob over a medium high heat and later come to 121 degrees celsius using a digital thermometer. While you wait for that you can go ahead and grab yourself a mixing bowl and place in your egg yolks and your whole egg and whisk until the mixture is much lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency, it should almost be white depending on the sort of eggs you've used, if you've used more of a free range it won't be that pale but if you haven't don't worry. Then you can go ahead and steadily pour over your liquid mixture, being careful not to get, to get this on your skin otherwise it will burn. Whisk until the, mix, the bottom of the bowl can be touched with the back of your hand. Once it does you can start to add in your butter bit by bit. You don't want to add it all as otherwise you may ruin the buttercream. So as you add the last bits it should have thickened up significantly looking something like this. So once your buttercream is done you can then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down and this just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. Split it into roughly half and into half add your mint extract and some green food colouring and just mix until it's got one solid colour. Into the other one add some cocoa powder and mix until that is fully incorporated. That's all you need to do, I'm just having two tone ice in or buttercream purely because I can. Then you can go ahead and grab your loaf which is baked and fully cooled, never put buttercream on a hot cake. Then just place dollops of the buttercream on top in various patterns and shapes, it doesn't need to be perfect. Then you can go ahead and once you've got all the buttercream on, just smooth and level it out so you've got good coverage all over. And then just do like a little wiggly thing down the middle just to create like a border or a path of some sort. I like to drizzle over some chocolate ganache, I just had some to hand but you can use any chocolate sauce if you have some. Then I place these mint chocolate fins which are just called after eight. Perfect for this loaf and they both tie into the chocolate and the mint flavour. So then to finish the cake I just sprinkle over some dark chocolate chips. You can use as many or as few or none at all, it's really up to you, it's just a finishing touch. But here is what the finished loaf looks like. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again tomorrow with another recipe so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, I'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog and links to all of my social medias. So don't forget to go and follow me over on there, but that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.